Aha. David, in education, Gemma Kearney, Amy Winehouse and Kate Nash all attended an institution called the what? Brit School or Fame Academy? Brit School. Correct, Terry. In two widely used rhetorical questions, one concerns the doings of bears in the woods and the other asks, is the Pope a what? Catholic. Correct. Christian, in the home, what tea is the name for a small handheld electric lamp powered by batteries? Torch. Correct. Janice, in film, the actress who won an Oscar for her performance as June Carter in the 2005 film Walk the Line is Reese who? Weatherspoon. Correct. Bank. Dave, the elusive creature that was reportedly sighted in Scotland in 1933, causing a tourism boom in the area of the Great Glen, is known by what name? The Loch Ness Monster. Act. Correct. Susie. In 2003, a radio show hosted by Christian O'Connell featured live coverage of which procedure? An autopsy or a vasectomy? Oh, boy. Um, must be an autopsy. No, it must be a vasectomy. Ricky and Melvin, in British customs, because it's the date for hoaxes and practical jokes, the 1st of April is known by what other name? April Fool's Day. Correct, David. Hi. In the TV cartoon series The Flintstones, Fred is married to Wilma, while Barney is married to whom? Oh, Betty. Correct, Terry. In food, what W is a type of finely layered thin biscuit often served with ice cream? Wafer. Correct. Christian. Bank. In celebrities, the actor who in 2009 became the first person to attract one million followers on the social networking site Twitter is Ashton who? Kutcher. Correct. Janice, in a common UK superstition, which... Time's up and you won 2,850 pounds. Who's as convincing as Tim Westwood's accent? <laughs> Who'd call their own show to complain? <laughs> Time to vote off. The weakest link. In a reversal of fortune, Christian is statistically the strongest link. Susie is the weakest link, but can she survive the vote? Voting over. It's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Ricky and Melvin. Sorry, Susie. Ricky and Melvin. Ricky and Melvin, sorry, boys. Susie. Susie. Afraid it has to be the dynamic duo. Love the, I love the leather kecks, but it's time to can Susie. <laughs> Dave. And before we start, can I just say that in real life you are even fitter than you are on the TV. <laughs> And tonight, you have pulled it out of the bag, honey. <laughs> I think you're gorgeous, too. <laughs> you're really too good-looking for radio, aren't you? I, I don't think so, Anne. Not, at, you know, in the middle of the afternoon, maybe I've had a late night, radio suits me just perfectly, no, but I scrubbed I... up for you today. No, you look gorgeous. I think you're absolutely stunning. Very cool, very fit. I mean, really... Stop you! Don't need to do it. <laughs> Radio's more for people who look like Christians, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> It's wonderful you're here tonight. Thank you, Anne. And you're representing South East London. I am. Yeah. Where do you live? I live in Pimlico. <laughs> 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 but you see, I, I, I met my lovely girlfriend and I lived Who's in Charlton. Who's your girlfriend? Her name is Heidi. Yeah. What does she do? Uh, she's in a band called Sugar Babes. Is she? She's not the one who's always been in it or the one who keeps changing. She's the scouser in the middle. Yes. <laughs> But yours is a pretty cool radio station, isn't it? It is. XFM is very cool, yeah. yeah. Christian used to be on it. He kind of uh, led the way for the rest of us. I don't know about that. <laughs> so you can't play her sort of music? Well, I think her music is cool, but it's just not for the XFM listener. <sighs> so does she give you grief when you go home? No, she's, she understands that, you know, the radio station I work on, they kind of like their Indian rock and roll a bit more than round, round, baby, round, round. Or push the button to a lesser degree. <laughs> Do you push her buttons? I try, Anne, but we've been together for five years now, so, you know, button pushing becomes more and more scarce. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's just a way of life, Anne. And why do you want to get rid of the gorgeous boys over here? Um, again, I'm just basing it on people getting a question wrong, and uh, I'm a big Alan Partridge fan, and that, that's all it was, lads. It's obviously nothing personal, but, yeah, that's why. So, Christian... When did it all start to go wrong? It's uh, going very well. Is it? Yeah. Do you know what? In the last round, you were the strongest link. 
love to hear you say that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go now, actually. Boys, stay. Who <laughs> would have thought that? And why do you want to get rid of Ricky and Melvin? Uh, for some reason, they've uh, tried to take me down since I came on the show, and ultimately that has been your downfall. Now, Melvin... Hi, Miss Robertson, I love you. Yeah, good. <laughs> You've not said anything since you got on the show. Are you operating Ricky? I'm like his mascot. I'm the little one, so I'm yeah, just here. Yeah, but you haven't known the answer to any question, have you? I did the Halle Berry, Halle Berry one. Halle Berry, that was all right. Was on what, the what was the alternative? Uh, Dave Berry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's fit as well. He looks good in a yeah. little bikini, I've heard. And you beat Chris Moyles in the Sony Awards. Yeah, recently, Congratulations. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Thank yeah. You. And tell me the question you got wrong. What is it? You hadn't heard of AHA or you hadn't heard of Alan Partridge? Um, yeah, AHA is kind of before our time. And Alan bit. Partridge? Um... You don't know who Alan Partridge yeah, is? We know, know Alan, Alan Partridge. Alan Partridge. Who's Alan Partridge? Comedian. <laughs> is he? You do, I said you do the questions. Tell, do tell us about Alan Partridge. He's a made-up character. He's a radio presenter. Oh, well isn't he? done. Yeah. It's not saved you. <laughs> Just describe your show to me. It's the best in R and B, hip hop, it's... and dance. There's gossip. There's competitions, and there's us having a good time. It's the breakfast show for fun. Is it London. urban? Uh, it's dancey. for everyone. It's for everyone. It's even it's for you, Anne. You can tune in well, tomorrow. Can you, can you teach me some urban speak? Um, nang, that, that's a good thing. Say, if something looks nang, that's a good thing. Do I look nang? You, you look, look buff. Buff. Buff? <laughs> yeah. Your calf muscles yeah. are unbelievable. Yeah, Do you work yeah. out? Yeah. You work out, right? Yeah. Work. Or yeah. tidy. Is if it... you're in East London, you're tidy. Tidy? Yeah, yeah. South East London? Yeah, that works as well. Yeah. yeah. He you doesn't come live out in us. South East London. Yeah, does it work with you, Dave? No, he lives in Pimlico. In Pimlico. Oh, right, <laughs> OK, cool. <laughs> How'd you say goodbye? <laughs> I love you, Ed. Yeah. <laughs> you are the weakest link. Bye. <laughs>